Hey, Annette here. Welcome back to my Rug Cook and Talk Show. It's been a while and I've been busy doing some knitting and some other crafts and sewing and just the holidays and all that. So it's good to see you. Um, and so for all of anybody new, the new subscribers, uh, welcome and I'm um, glad you're joining us. And this is all about just sharing uh, what I do with rug hooking and um, here and there I veer off into a few other little craft things that I'm kind of working on just to share. Uh, so, so welcome. Okay, grab a cup of tea or coffee or whatever you're drinking and um, over here in the north it is starting to get a little cold out. Still really nice though. Uh, took the granddaughter out today and we had a good time playing outside and dumping out buckets with some ice in it and all that fun stuff. Um, so just, you know, pull up a chair and grab something good to eat or, or to drink and uh, get your rug hook and just en enjoy the next 20 minutes or so of, of my rug hook and talk show. Okay, so you know I've been working on my granddaughter's rug. Um, what I'm going to do is just take it off the frame so you can kind of see what it looks like at this point. I'm almost probably halfway done with the border, the scalloped border, but I think at this point it'd be worth it to take it off so you can kind of see what's going on with it. I have it upside down as I was working on it. So let's go ahead and flip that up and take it off. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay. I have some extra lamps over here. See if we can get a good picture. I'm going to try to get way back. So if you can, we can get this all in. Okay. Pop that up for me. There we go. Let's see if that helps. Can we get it all in? I think we do. I'm going to stand up with it. There you go. Okay. So you can kind of see uh, where I'm at with that. Okay. And, um, yeah, so I've still got to do this half here with the border, and I'm going to bring it up close so you can kind of see what that border looks like up close. It's kind of a dark pink and like a dusty pink, and that'll be um, just to give a little, it's a little darker, and the rest is going to be very pale pinks, so to kind of uh, give this whole thing some, some background and some contrast. And there you go, there's the blue uh, butterfly that I wanted to include. And here's a little close up of that. Now let's see if I can get a bunny in here. There you go. Okay, so let me get that back on. Okay. So as you know, I've been sharing that I kind of uh, discovered the, the, the wonder and the joy of knitting. And uh, no, I don't knit with needles. I do not. I, um, I hook with looms, little uh, looms. And I'll grab one real quick just to show those who might be new starting. Um, it looks like that. Uh, you've seen them in Michael's. Um, that one happens to be one I got from Cindy Wood Looms. Um, they come in different sizes. That one does fingerless gloves and little creamy hats, I think. So if you do any kind of charity hooking for the hospitals, um, those little looms are good for that too. So, um, so what happened was I, I really started to enjoy it. And so I started making the fingerless gloves for me and my daughter. And then it went to... Um, uh, to other people and other family members and um, it gave me a sense of purpose to make those gloves. I myself love, love, love yarn. I love yarn and I think all of us who rug hook or craft or knit, you just, you love the fiber, you love the texture, you love the colors, um, the different, the different types of yarn to hook with so I'm discovering all those fun things. I mean really the only time I, I used yarn was to rug hook and of course that's just wonderful to look at and add into your rug hooking if you just hooking with fiber uh, like wool 
um, adding the wool yarn adds a different dynamic and a different look to your rug hooking. So don't be afraid to add it in. It's extremely durable. Like I said, I have rugs that have gone through the wringer and um, they're just doing wonderfully. Actually, this isn't on the way I want it. I'm going to relocate it. Um, so yeah, but while I do this, I'm just going to do that for now and pop it off real fast. That's the beauty of this, uh, this frame, the Anderson frame. It, it's very easy to, to get going and change. So anyway, let me get that back on. And so I want you to show you, I want you to share with you some books and um, the usual little reviews that I have. Let me just grab that underneath. Okay, that should be better much better okay it cleared the bar it was too close to the bar and that's not fun so there was a few things I want you to share today um, one is this uh, whenever I come up with a little gadget or something that I think I can share with somebody that I think you get some good use out of uh, I do it so um, I found this little thing um, on Amazon it has these little clamps so you see it clamps and it holds onto the edge of a wing chair, uh, an easy chair, or your recliner, the edge of a couch. Um, and I put everything on it. The little um, rug hook goes on it if I go upstairs with this. Or if I'm knitting, all my knitting supplies um, go on it. My cup of tea fits on it. My little snack. Um, I just think these are great. I think it was $25 and it comes in different colors. You can get a natural wood, this dark wood. I kind of liked, uh, and so there you go. I just wanted to share that I take this and put it in different parts of the house wherever I go with my knitting or my rug hooking, and I got a little table. And for $25, I think it's worth every penny. So there you go, and it's all wood. It's not a laminate, it's um, actual wood, I believe. So there you go. Um, just wanted to share that with you. Okay. So what else? Uh, oh, I've got some book reviews. Okay, and first we'll start with um, Rug Hooking Magazine. This is the January, February. This is the most current issue uh, that's out. So if you don't get this, I think you really would enjoy this magazine. It's, um, it, it covers all areas of rug hooking and then it goes a little beyond. So. Um, it adds in a little of everything in that regard that's connected that might be a little outside the traditional rug hooking and so it shares that with you too. But if you look on page 60, that name might seem familiar, Kay Lafavra, I hope I'm saying it right Kay, and um, she's a member of Rug Hooking Daily and uh, she's also a member of our group. And she's in here on page 60, a great story. I loved, enjoyed reading it and seeing her beautiful rugs. And um, she has some just wonderful things to share with you um, about her rug hooking life and her rug hooking journey. So go ahead and um, if you're not a subscriber, go get it at your local bookstore. You could even just order it uh, right through rughookingmagazine.com. You can order it and... Um, it has some great things in here. This this one I like also because it has a, a really cool article on chairs and um, ottomans. And um, I know uh, one of our rug hookers uh, did an ottoman and it came out beautiful. So there's some ottoman picks in here and chairs and stuff like that. I think you really enjoy seeing it. So go ahead and get it. It's the current one. And... Our friend Kay, our rug hooking uh, member Kay is in there. Okay, next next book. I love to read, so I, I like sharing. If I think something's really worthwhile, then I think it's it's worth it to share. And somebody else can get some enjoyment out of it. Um, and there you go. So I, I picked up Knitting Pearls. And um, it's all about, um, you know what, and this could be, this could easily just be, you know, rug hookers, you know, uh, knitting worms or something. But it's it's just about different people, writers mostly, and how knitting and picking up those needles or somebody else knitting for them, how knitting has touched their life through sweaters and, and knitting circles and all that 
stuff that um, connects people together that um, they share little stories and they're not long at all they're like a page and a half and so uh, we have Jody Picoult, Lee Woodruff, uh, Steve Almond, uh, Laura Lipman so these are some um, authors that are in here and the stories are wonderful they're they're heartwarming they're sad they're uplifting they're inspiring um, and this is the second one. The first one is called Knitting Yarns, and this one's called Knitting Pearls. So I just wanted to share that. That's what I'm currently reading along with. Uh, okay, this is a little different. I really love reading about how uh, women just spent their day uh, in, you know, the pioneer days. The, the, the days before all the conveniences came in and how women made it through their days without the conveniences of dishwashers and vacuums and you know even something like a mop i mean that was a big invention at some point um that nobody was on their hands and knees scrubbing with a scrub brush and and that sort of thing the mop was a great invention and still use it okay so this is called voices of american homemakers and i bought it online and it's just a wonderful, wonderful book filled with the smallest little, um, like paragraphs almost on certain subjects. Just, it's very quick, easy reading, and it has different topics. Um, it's the homemaker and her life. It's the homemaker and her work. And the homemaker and her organization. And it ends with, the homemaker and herself and it's just a wonderful wonderful I'm really enjoying it there's lots of pictures very old kind of vintage pictures because the you know these are this is you know we're talking back in the the 30s the 40s like that maybe even the early 50s and it's just the, these women are all sharing stories most of them are like age 16 up and they're just saying how they learn to just do domestic life and um, for their for themselves, for their families, to help their mothers as they got older. And so um, I think you would really enjoy, if anybody likes history um, and the whole domestic scene, this is a really good book. It's, it's fun, it's enjoyable, and I, I don't think you'd be disappointed um, picking it up. I bought it off of Amazon, I think, for a few dollars. So again, it's Voices of American Homemakers, and it's edited by Eleanor Arnold. So for anybody's interested, um, what's nice is that you can put it down, pick it up, put it down, pick it up, and you don't have to worry like where you left off. It's just, um, just, a, just wonderful. Uh, they talk about everything that is domestic in their in their life, from churches to schooling to taking care of their families to, you know, all that fun stuff. So. Okay, so I'm just uh, doing, can you see, I, I, it washes it out a little, but I'm going to get to my rug cooking because, like I said, I haven't been. I haven't been, I've been doing a lot of other things, and um, let me see if I can face you a little bit, better. there you go, and uh, so I've got a big box, I've got a box of my little pink worms in here, my little uh, strips. And I'm, these are probably like a number, what, six, seven, you know, they're kind of about a quarter of an inch uh, in thickness. So, you know what, I'm going to flip this around. There you go. Okay. It's easier to keep the continuity. And that's the beauty of this um, rug frame. So if anybody's looking for a frame, you, obviously you can't get this one, um, but you could uh, get a rotating frame. I think those are well worth the money for anybody who does do it um, that your your frame has the ability to rotate it's it's awesome I'm hoping I finish this by spring and uh, that would be great so I've got a I have got to be disciplined and step away from the knitting looms <laughs> <laughs> and and just hunker down now and not be as distracted with that and um and it'll get done and so that's what my new my new thing is i've uh, 
I've explored the knitting and I'm enjoying it and I'm actually in the midst of making a, a pair of gloves another pair and it's a, a hot pink pair of gloves something fun and not so dreary uh, for the winter and because um, I've done a lot of gray and beige and brown and olive green and all that but nothing kind of fun and um, yeah so I've been given all the rugs away actually so it's, it's been as soon as I make a pair it go, gets a new home and uh, and that's okay gives me another reason to to knit up another pair and I did explore um, some different places to get yarn because I've always been interested in yarn for rug cooking so I now I have another reason to, to look at yarn and how fun is that um, but there's a rug yarn for those of you who are Downton Abbey fans Premier Yarns puts out a line of Downton Abbey yarns and I did buy a bunch of yarn you know what I'm gonna grab some and show it to you be right back So here's some of it. I've knitted up a lot of it already um, in the form of uh, gloves. But here's two, and I think they're pretty. They're, uh, let's see, this one, th it, this is the Matthew line, and it's a heathered yarn. It has like a little tweedy heather, little pieces of something in it. Not so much heathered as it is just like a, uh, a tweedy color, and, and like a, it's got little flecks of other things. So I, I don't know, what would you call that? Okay, so here it is. And it's so pretty. See, it's got little flecks. And that this color is, um, yeah, that'd be nice if I knew the color. It doesn't give a color. Okay, so that's that. <laughs> it's like an oatmeal. It's a little, it's like a beigey oatmeal. There's actually one lighter than this, and I've got both of them. And this is a really pretty blue. But it's, um, it is uh, an acrylic and a wool. And it's really pretty. This is a real pretty blue. Okay. So I get, um, I believe I get two pairs of gloves out of each, each skein. So uh, there you go. Not expensive either. Okay. So um, there we go. So I've given you as much info as I could today. And um, I'm hoping that you're all hooking away on something or whatever you're doing, quilting or knitting, crocheting, all those, uh, you know what, it's all good. Our little busy hands um, will leave behind all these wonderful things and how how cool is that? So it's, it's all good. Whatever you're working on, um, I like to think that we have to kind of follow our, follow our heart for that moment of whatever we're working on. So it just feels right. You don't want to come to your frame and be like I have to rug hook you know I did step away from it for a little while I came down and I did a little bit here and there but definitely not as much time as I would have spent if I was uh, not knitting so uh, but it's okay I was able to uh, make gloves for everybody and hats and and um, I think that's good I think that's okay to to be able to break away and, and do something and produce something for somebody as a gift that's fine and I enjoyed looking at all that yarn who doesn't it's just so wonderful to see all these different types of yarns and I've been experimenting with different types of yarn in my knitting so uh, I'm learning some different stuff because I didn't know worsted weight the only weight I knew was rug hooking weight because <laughs> that's all that mattered to me was if that yarn was um, thick enough to be hooked, then it was a yarn I wanted to, to buy. But um, so I uh, just want to share again, um, uh, Seal Harbor Rugs uh, has, you know, one of the best rug hooking yarns out there in my opinion, and one of the biggest selections of colors. So if you are looking for um, a great selection of colors, you might want to definitely look out Seal Harbor Rugs, and they're on the internet, and uh, they're always adding new colors. I think they must have uh, probably close to 200 by now, and uh, a great selection, 
and a great price. Um, they're probably one of the less expensive rug, uh, rug hooking yarns out there and probably one of the best rug hooking yarns. So, um, you know, everybody has a preference. You know, there's great um, yarns from Halcyon and, you know, some people are spinning their own yarns. And so you, you need to find your, your niche of what, what kind of yarn you like um, and know that that's okay. I'm just sharing information for those who might not have a, a, a source for, for great yarn uh, here in the States. And uh, I know there's plenty out in Canada, so um, that is good. Okay, so there you go. So I get a little done each day, you know, and that's, that's how you're going to get your rug done is by working a little bit at a time each day. Um, you know, even if you give it, like I said, five minutes, ten minutes, whatever it is, four minutes of hooking and you did something on it, uh, an outline of a letter, a word, a flower, you're getting closer to the end. So um, I love working on the motif and then I love working on any kind of border because I know I'm coming to the background. And I enjoy working on the background because it's just, um, you know, the, 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 the work with all the colors has been done, but you don't really get to see the beauty of that until you put that background in and everything just kind of comes together and that's like why I really like working on that and it's also very meditative and very soothing to just work and not have to think what color do I put here or should I take that color out or is this color working like all that kind of heavy thinking rug hooking is done and so you can just kind of sit back and enjoy the beauty of the background and know that that's bringing out all the colors together and making the design really work for you so um yes i can't wait for it to be done and i'm and i'm very glad to be back to rug hooking um so i just want to say uh thanks for joining me and thanks for for uh being a part of the group and for hanging in there sorry i I've, I've been away for so long and uh i will try to get back to you weekly now so that we can keep up with the progress of my of my rug and um, go ahead and upload any pics of the progress of your rug to the group or, or to your uh, web page on Rug Hooking Daily. And, and so we can get a chance to see. Um, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe. And um, if you subscribe, it'll automatically come to your inbox when there's a new video posted. Uh, so go ahead and do that, that'll help. Um, and the more subscribers, the more uh, reason I have to keep doing this, knowing that it's reaching a lot of people. And it just keeps me kind of aware of, of what's going on with, with, with that. So thank you. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you soon. Stay well. Happy hooking. Take care.